This week, I'm reviewing the Wi-Fi Porter to find out whether this thing is the easiest way to share your home Wi-Fi login details with your guests or the most expensive piece of wood you're ever likely to buy. After over a year of lockdown, and with a bit of luck, we'll all be able to start having friends round soon. And when they arrive, one of the first things a lot of them ask is, what's your Wi-Fi password? Now, there are three strengths of password you might have for your Wi-Fi. Either you'll have it set to be something really simple and easy to remember, like your child's name and year of birth, Brittany 2003, or you might go a step further and throw in a couple of curveballs to throw that hacker off the scent. Like using a number one instead of the I in Britney, or slapping an underscore between Britney and 2003. That's what I do. The problem is that whenever anyone asks, I can't remember whether it was an I or a one, an underscore or a hyphen. So it usually takes at least four attempts to get it right and sometimes a lot more. Alternatively, you'll be one of those people who stuck with that random selection of letters and numbers on the back of the router, which is impossible for most normal people to remember and tedious to share. So at best, to log into your Wi-Fi, a visitor has to open their mobile, go to settings, press Wi-Fi, wait for the networks to appear, then click the network, and enter your daughter's name and year of birth. Now that may be a good thing if the visitor is their godparent and you want to remind them that little Brittany is going to be 18 this year, but if it's the plumber, that's less good. At worst though, you'll be someone who has to go and fish the password off the back of the router whenever anyone asks. And if you live somewhere with no mobile signal, that'll be about every 10 minutes because everyone wants the password. Here's the solution. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy this review, do click the subscribe link below. It's called the Wi-Fi Porter and it's a small piece of wood. Maple wood, to be precise. Uh, with an embedded microchip or tag which stores your Wi-Fi login details and then shares them with any compatible device that comes within a few centimetres. So all your guests have to do is tap their phone on the Wi-Fi symbol and bingo, job done. Or so I thought. The Wi-Fi porter uses an NFC chip which stands for Near Field Communications. It's the same thing which contactless debit cards use when you make a payment. Now, NFC has been built into Android phones for about 10 years, but Apple only introduced a built-in NFC tag reader from 2018 in the iPhone XS and XR. And what's more, whilst an Android phone can read all sorts of data off an NFC chip, including your contact details, your telephone number, links to your social networks, and of course your Wi-Fi login details, Apple's will only read one thing, and that's a web address. Now that in turn means that the only way that the Wi-Fi porter here can get the login details onto your guest phones is by sharing them via a web page. And what do you need to download a web page? Yeah, that's right, you need an internet connection. Now can anyone see the flaw in the logic here? You visit someone's house, you realise you haven't got a mobile signal, so you ask for their Wi-Fi password. They direct you to their swanky new Wi-Fi porter, which needs a mobile signal to give you the login details. Now, the Wi-Fi porter does give you a couple of alternative ways to share the login details. When you first configure the NFC chip for your one guest who has an Android phone, the app also creates a label with a QR code which you stick underneath the Wi-Fi porter. Here's one I prepared earlier which you have to cut out. Uh, you take the back off the Wi-Fi porter, stick the label in there, and put the cover back on. So now, if you live in somewhere with a weak or no mobile signal, your iPhone users can 
open their camera, point it at the QR code and click join the network. It really is very quick and easy. It's not the one tap promised on the website, but it is easier than trying to remember the password. Much quicker than typing it in, and of course there's no chance of a typo creeping in. And by the way, there is a space on the label to put your network password for laptop users who can't scan a chip or a QR code. Now this thing costs £40 on Amazon, or you can buy direct from 101 Design's website. £40 for a piece of wood with a chip in it. I'm clearly in the wrong business. This thing weighs about 40, well, 46 grams. If I made them out of oak and a mature oak weighs about 14,000 kilos, I could turn the tree into about 300,000 pounds. My God, where's my chainsaw? Joking aside, as things stand at the moment, if you live somewhere with a weak signal, this thing is not really very much more than a glorified picture frame for a QR code. You could just as well go to a website like qr-code-generator.com, create a code, laminate it, and stick it on your fridge door. It'll cost you, what, all of about five pence? For that reason, I was on the verge of sending this thing back to Amazon. But you know what? I think it is actually quite useful to have something with a bit of substance to it to direct people to. And maybe Apple will allow its NFC chip reader to scan Wi-Fi login details in the future. So I think I'll hang on to it. If you live in an area with a decent mobile phone signal, I do think this is worth buying, especially if you run an Airbnb. It'll make things much easier for your guests. One thing though, when you set it up and you get to the bit which allows you to name your location, press show config and then select more options for iPhones that tap. If you want one tap network connection for your guests, you need to select install Wi-Fi profile. With the other one, it just offers to copy and paste your password, which is clunky. If, like me, you live in an area with no mobile signal, honestly, I wouldn't bother. Wait and see whether Apple enables NFC properly, and in the meantime, save your 40 quid and just print a QR code and stick it on the fridge door. If you know anyone who has Wi-Fi and friends or an Airbnb, you might like to share this with them. Otherwise, till the next time... I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.